Hi everybody, we are at the uh, Kazgan Coffee Las Vegas on this beautiful Saturday morning. Down the street here, uh, the gas price was about $1.79. It was crazy good for $87 <laughs> at least. Um, here we have Dick uh, with his beautiful Porsche. Would you tell me about your car? It started out as an 89 Speedster and uh, it was taken over at one time by a fellow named Bob Anziano in Orange County, which had a business called uh, Bad Boys Cars, which has inside the, printed in the various places and his numbers are underneath the car. Okay, so the car is an 89 Speedster, but customized. Now, when he took it, he did a number of things and I can just talk about them. The, normally the filler for the gasoline would be on the fender. He did what they call shaving the fender and so now you fill the tank by opening the hood like the original 356 Speedsters. Uh, it has 993 mirrors and fenders. It has a Victorio Strosic top, uh, which was custom made for the Speedster. And Strosic has made other parts, and bumpers are also from Strosic. Um, so all the insignia has been taken off the car except for the center caps and the wheels, which are actually Porsche wheels, and, uh, and uh, I think the steering wheel. Other than that, all the insignia has been taken off. Uh, the car is a lot of fun. I've had it about 13 years, and uh, I haven't been tempted to sell it or change it for anything else yet, although I see some lovely cars out here that anybody would enjoy. So uh, what else can I tell you? Maybe, uh, I don't know. Oh, I, I forgot the, uh, the rear fenders have been widened by three inches, and uh, I don't know. Oh, and the hood, no, right. The hood has been flattened. If you look at any Porsche in those years, they had a strong seam down the center of the hood, and this one they flattened and laid the screen back and made a... So it has a lot of nice, I think, uh, appointments that uh, I enjoy looking at, like I enjoy looking at you. Oh, thank you. Tell me about a little bit more about the top part. The well, yeah, it, uh, it was actually it was made originally to uh, be on forever, and I found that I could release it, and I made some small parts, and bought a, uh, a electric lift, and so in the summertime, I, I take it off and it rises up, and it's pretty safe up there, and it makes a nice convertible. So that's kind of one of the nice things that happen. And uh, like I say, Victoria Strosik has been, uh, 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 I don't know if currently is that busy, but for years he was doing a lot of things to Porsches, customizing them. So I think he did a, quite a nice job on this car. I've never seen a tank inside. Do you mind to pop the foot and show me how it works? Well, it, well, it looks terrible in there. I got oh. everything apart. You want to see it? It looks awful. Okay, then well, maybe not. Yeah, because, you know, I have nice black carpets that go in and all look so nice. Right now it's all, the uh, wires are hanging everywhere. and I've just kind of not done what I should, clean it up, you know, I need to do that. Are you planning to come back next week? Oh yeah, I come, I come out almost every week because uh, I like the camaraderie out here. And I need to put some miles on the car and warm up the engine good. I don't like to drive it to the store and back. It's not good for any engine, and especially a Porsche. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, so, and the only drawback is uh, my air-cooled Porsche, which is one of the later ones that, uh, before they went to water cool. Uh, you know, uh, summertime heat is pretty tough on them, on these air cool. So uh, I'm not too crazy about driving when it's 105 or 10, you know. But uh, anyway, the rest of the year it's great and I probably drive it then. If it blows up, so it blows up, you know what. <laughs> so hope to see you next week then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Nice to talk to you. Thanks.